Well, hello there, it's Cream and welcome to another video. This week I am showing you all the builds that I've done the past couple of months uh, for Brindleton Bay since Cats and Dogs actually was released. So yeah, I'm really excited because this took me quite a while to build all of these. It took me 100, more than 100 hours, which is uh, more than actual four days. I was building in The Sims for four days straight. How's your life going? Yeah, cool. Uh, so I edit this video some sort of, you know, a real estate agency took the entire town and rebuilded it. Uh, so they have, you know, all those ads for sale. Few of them are sold. You can see all the information. You can see how long it really took me because I feel like it's kind of sad <laughs> to see that few of these took me 15 and 16 hours each so i felt like let's include that and you can see uh where it's located and other info about the bedrooms and the bathrooms and also included the lot rates i don't know i just felt it was cute you know now let's talk a bit more about the builds um if this is your first time in my channel and you go and scroll on my videos you will see probably two starter houses three starter houses i am not good at doing starter houses uh, i like being like creative and going one step further with the decorations not just having you know a blank bathroom and bedroom so when i am limited by the money i don't do well and i just don't enjoy what i be so i don't do you know starter houses so you will see almost all the houses in this town cost more than 100k uh which is sad <laughs> We only have one starter, the first one that you saw, and I think there is also one more house that costs less than that. So, yeah, thumbs up for me. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, you will see also the style of its house, which I think it's cool, because even though all of these houses look the same on the outside, the inside isn't that similar. Uh, I like neighborhoods that are picture perfect like they have similar looking houses and you walk past them and you're like oh my god this is so beautiful so i don't like you know a random classic house among all the modern ones so i went for this brindleton bay style of most of the houses we have one modern and one uh i guess industrial kind of industrial but you will see most of them have this classic style but you can actually see that they are different on the outside. For example, this is Savvy Six style, so it's more elegant, more, you know, uh, classy, I guess, if you want to say, rather than other ones that are more country style. And as it comes to the interior style, which is what I noted down below in the information, I try to make its house different because I feel like you won't see a house being decorated with the same style in the same neighborhood. That would be kind of rare. Um, plus, I have way more fun trying out new styles and going out of my comfort zone. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. All of these styles are actually... I didn't know how to build them. Like I wasn't born with the ability to know every interior decoration style so house a website called that uh, really helped me find more about its style and decorate its lot accordingly and I really like that doing you know different things for its build so this is the yachts club um, and there is a funny story behind it when I never actually visited this lot before going to build it and I was like, this is gonna be so cool for a yacht club. And well, according to the story, the Sims gurus write or whatever, uh, this was a yacht club. And I'm like, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> so yeah, um, this town has a few community lots. We have a cafe, we have the yacht club, we have a bar, which is not only a bar, this is the bar, uh, the down two floors are basically the down floor 
the first floor. It has two separate rooms. This one that's more, you know, a get together type of room for clubs and <clears throat> it's more classic. And then I went with a karaoke because I don't know, I just don't like to have straight up a bar because you might have fun doing something else. So yeah, what else do we have? We have the pet clinic, vet clinic, not pet clinic. Um, we have the a park as you saw in the beginning and then we have a hotel slash restaurant which is the last building and it's located on the island this is the excuse me this is the industrial slash modern build that i did and i enjoyed it so much it was so fun to work with all the bricks and the bright colors and everything uh i really loved it and what else what else yeah, in each in each and every um, house, I included from four to eight screenshots. Each screenshots, I tried to represent the build as best as possible because obviously, I couldn't include all the screenshots for each house. That would be a way bigger video. Um, so I went with the front and the back of the house, and then I went with I think staple rooms. So. On most of them you have the kitchen, you have the dining area and you have the living room which I feel like captures the style the best and then usually I go with the master bedroom and the master bathroom which again you know you can get an idea of how the rest of the bedrooms will look like um, in the bathrooms and side note I go extra with the bathrooms I try to make them as fancy as possible I really like going a mile further and not doing just a simple classic bathroom. I don't know what's up with that, but I really enjoy it. And then if I, if there is like a room that I really love in the house, I will include that. Uh, for example, on the previous build was the sand room slash art studio. I love this room. And in this one, there is such a cute playroom for the kids in this house, which, oh my God, I love it. Uh, it was really fun to build. So yeah, this is what I try to do with the screenshots. But if you want to see more screenshots for its build, or if you want to see like a build a bit better, uh, down in the description, I will include the playlist where I have all the builds that you see in this video. Uh, so you can check them there. There are in total 16 builds and they took quite a while, <laughs> as you can tell. Or if you want to download all of them, again, down in the description, I will have the save file. Be sure to read the instructions because you just don't really dump it, dump it in your mods folder. Uh, so yeah, there's that. If you wanna download the builds separately, they're all on my gallery and you will find more information about download links on each and every build, like video build. So yeah, oh, this house, this house had a dog house. I know that we recently, uh, the same gurus talked about not having dog houses on Twitter on The Sims, but I felt like, you know, for that house, it was perfect because you usually have a dog house outside if it is a guard dog. So that was what my mind was going. And this is the other modern build. It's more of a Scandinavian minimal style. And it's honestly one of my favorite ones. I really enjoy the minimal style. So yeah, uh, here we go to the mansions. <clears throat> oh, this is actually the last mansion that I did that took me the longest time. <laughs> Uh, it's quite different from the other one. Uh, the other one, I feel like it had more of a family style and, you know, they cared about the kids and have the kids having a good time in the house and feeling comfortable, while this is more elegant. It's more like out there. So it's like, don't drip food in the floor. Like, don't drip water on the floor. Don't... No you don't have stains this is the perfect family with a perfect house so yeah it's quite different actually this is what i was trying to do to make them kind of different and this is the last build that i did uh two weeks ago and i really enjoyed it i wasn't sure what i was doing i straight up went out you know my head i thought about it and i'm like sure whatever i thought about doing a wedding venue there but that didn't work out 
<laughs> like imagine having stray animals and dead animals at your wedding. Yeah, not ideal. <laughs> It turns out it's not ideal. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have an amazing day. And take care. Bye.